IT, I hope everybody has had a blessed Thanksgiving, and I just want to come in and spend a little time with you guys right quick. Um, we had uh, a very, very, very wonderful, awesome Thanksgiving. As a matter of fact, we cooked a lot of traditional foods, which with my family, it consists of a lot of stuff as far as different foods. You understand? We have like, you know, just say for instance, like we had pasteles, you know. We've had panine, rice and beans. We had collard greens, cornbread, potato salad. We had oxtail, white rice, chicken foot soup. We got some family members that have um, married people of other nationalities, like, you know, Italian food. So we had a lot of stuff like, you know, um, lasagnas and meatballs and spaghetti also korean people you know in the family that comes that's you know that's married somebody korean because see we're a mixed race of people and then people continue on which is a blessing so what we do is we cook um food to service everybody that's of whatever nationality that's coming through it wasn't a wild crazy out of control thing we know how to come together in a proper way and that's the problem too with a lot of holidays people get turned up and it's i understand it to a certain extent because of everybody gets emotional around holidays a lot of guilt hurt pain and then tears of joy but we don't we don't do that i i, I stopped that um i'm gonna be honest with you i stopped that quite a while ago and everybody knows how we get down so what we do is Everybody pretty much can, you know, cook and bring what they want. But we all make sure we talk so that we won't have, you know, somebody that could have made something else. And we got too many trays of, you know, lasagna or, or you know, macaroni and cheese. But anyway, I just want to know, you know, I, want, I just want to say that I hope everybody, you know, had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And I'm going more so with the spiritual opposed to, you know, feeding the flesh, even though it is a blessing to have food. Um, they have a story in the Bible where they had prepared for the feast, you know, and the feast consisted of um, like, you know, like, you know, wheat and barley and um, bitter yams. And that that food was a blessing to them it's just as much as, you know, people sitting back with a big old, you know, steak. You know, a big piece of ham, oxtails, you know, curry goat, whatever, you know, we are fortunate to have. They had to pull together. And I tell you, I bet you that meal is better than any meal that I've ever had. Okay, so I just want to say that also I want to let you guys know whenever I cook dinner just about every night, but more so I'm using this big one to give you guys example. So, for example, for me, you know, to have the, the you know, the, the extra food that we got left over, I'll just say right here, I put a piece of turkey here. A piece of panine, some oxtails, some macaroni and cheese, some collard greens, and, and some you know some Chinese rice here. And I and I got Ziploc bags, and I put these and freeze them. And it, when I cook throughout the week like that, I put food in the containers like that, so I don't always have to buy somebody else's TV dinner. I can make use of my food, and sometimes I cook extra food to have extra food left over. But normally during the week, we usually do like maybe three things and maybe a bread or whatever. So this is what I do. And then I um, put it in this here and um, I um, put it in the freezer and you got your whole, you know, you feel like some of that food from Thanksgiving, da, da, da. It, there it is. But anyway, I want y'all to, you know, know that um, I had a, you know, I was blessed with a nice Thanksgiving. It was peace. We usually traditionally sit at the table. You know how you got your proper forks, knives, glasses, you got your cloth, napkins, and all of that type of stuff, the right type of salad fork or whatever. And we had the table plan to set up, and I had one family member that came in and said, you know what, let's do something different. And he said, well, let's just go in the living room and just sit, everybody sit wherever they can find the seat, and let's watch and support people on YouTube, seriously. And that's basically what we did. We said our prayers, we sat down, we watched plenty of people's videos, then we also watch videos that consist of people that's not as fortunate to understand that, you know, anything could happen to anybody at any time. And then we touch base with how much we care about each other, what our expectations is for our future and how blessed we are and giving each other advice on different travels in life. But anyway, with the leftover soup, I decided now I'm going to show you all real quick here. I decided y'all know how we get these crescent rolls right here. I think I got these from Aldi's. And you get eight of them in here. I didn't separate the eight crescents. I kept them all together as one big piece of the crescent. And I just put it in the oven. And I made crescent. Did you see that? And I cut it into two pieces. Okay, got a little brown here because I was doing something. I almost got caught up. But anyway, I'm going to cut it into slices and put some nice, I can't believe it's not butter on there. 
Okay. All right. So that's going to go with what I had fixings left over from Thanksgiving dinner. So what I'm going to be doing is I decided to make a soup with the leftover meat. And this is going to be a nice hearty soup. And I'm going to show y'all that's going to go with the crescents. And what y'all see in front of me is my multi-purpose cooker. I put a whole, um, like a turkey carcass in here after I, you know, I, you know, picked at first I let it boil down. Then I had to take it out and let it cool off and pick all the meat off of because, you know, there's some sloppy pieces that you don't like. And, and I like to go through all the bone and all that and chew it up and stuff. But some family members don't like that. Got a little babies that can't chew that and all that. So I let that, you know, cook down from the natural juices from the turkey. And then, you know, I um, basically added other stuff in here to make a nice turkey soup. Here, y'all. Comfort food. Look at that. Look at that. And I'm going to tell you what I have in here. I'm gonna, let me just plate it up real good. I even kept the um, the skin on the um, potatoes for that extra nourishment. People don't realize that potatoes, that's where a lot of the nourishment is at. And in this soup, we got um, everything that came from the turkey. There might be even some dressing that, you know, got liquefied in there. But what we did was we put some corn in it, add some green onions and peppers. We put some tomatoes in it. Actually, I put some whole um, tomatoes in it just to make it more more hearty you understand what i'm saying but this is you know i just want y'all to see a few pieces of the meat i cut up some potatoes and put it in there and this is going to be a nice homemade real talk homemade everything in here is homemade except i didn't grow the chicken and back in jamaica back in puerto rico down south they have raised chickens you understand what i mean but um you know and, and, and turkeys and stuff like that but i didn't do the turkey but everything else this is a homemade um soup that we're gonna have throw a little bit of butter on this and this is just soup that i made a big batch of to have as comfort food and then with the soup i take the soup too and freeze it in containers and put it in the freezer so if somebody feel like having some turkey soup and this got a lot of stuff in it that you can't see. They got we had I added some um some fettuccine noodles. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a piece of the noodles because I broke them up. I put some lentil beans in there, but you can't see it. I put the red ones in there, and I cooked it so good that they boiled down. That's a piece of tomato in there. So this is basically a turkey vegetable soup, if you will. And I added a whole bunch of different stuff in there. You know, um, some um, parsley. I added some um, chives, a whole mix of good stuff because, see, the turkey was already seasoned. But, you know, sometimes you got to add a little bit because we're adding more water in it to make it a soup. But you want some soup to fill you up. So I added some extra stuff in there that was, um, you know, extra stuff. Like I said, the noodles and stuff like that. But it's a good soup. And that's what we're going to, um, you know, turn that over to um, from the leftovers from the Thanksgiving dinner. I also wanted to let you guys know that this is going to be kind of hard for me, but this is what I want to let y'all know. I am having, you know, some issues with, you know, trying to manage two channels. And I, I tried to change the channel to get it into one and it didn't work out. And I'm going to try it again. And what I want y'all to know is if I can get everybody over on one page, if I can't write like a comment to everybody, I want to still put that heart to show y'all some love. And then also still come to y'all pages and comment like I do. But I got to change this up because I'm working between two channels and they're both growing very well. And I'm not bragging or anything like that. It's just physically, not just job wise and all that, but physically I'm not able to keep doing it because I'm having some medical effects from doing all the typing and stuff like that so I'm trying to figure out how to combine this so what I want to let you guys know and I don't want to diss nobody but I just put up two videos today and one of them is a walkthrough rambling in the um, family dollar I also put up another one of me um, doing a haul with some makeups that I got from um, Walgreens and I, you know, and that's, those might be the last two that I put up on the TL side. That's what I want y'all to understand. And the channel that I want everybody to come over to, if you want to, because that's where I'm going to be at, it's going to be called Rook of All. Rook is a capital R, a lowercase r, U-K, okay, of O-F, all, A-L-L. -L. And you're going to be able to see that because if you go on my Tia Long page, you're going to see channel other channels on there. And it's going to be Rook of All. And that's all you got to do is click on there. Also, I'm going to take the time and start 
coming from Rook of All, subscribing to as many as people as that I can get without, you know, messing up myself any further as well. So I would love for you guys to join me because the last time that I tried to do this, y'all, I lost out on like, um... 3,000 subbies that just didn't understand or they wasn't paying attention or it got mixed up, however. And, and that went down. Also, YouTube be doing a lot of messed up stuff. I'm not judging nothing, but y'all know we all say the truth. It's not all y'all complaining, but yeah, I don't make money off of this. Everybody keeps telling me I need to do something like some monetized thing or something, but I do this as a hobby and, and, and it gives me the fortune to meet people like you, and I really appreciate that. So I'm just saying, I'm not going to be able to keep up the two channels, so after a while, you're going to see that there's not going to be really much on Tia Long at all. Also, I'm going to put something up on Tia Long to try to get you guys over and like I said, I'm going to try to see if I can get somebody to write down all the names and go and subscribe to you guys from the Rook so that y'all can see. But if not, you just go on my page here along and you definitely will see the other channel. It will say Rook of All. I'm getting ready to go over there and chill over there because I can't keep doing both channels backwards and forth. At least if I have the one channel, I can go down the line and do all of the people on there. You know, instead of like how I do it now, I do all of the tea along. And then after I'm done with the tier long, I got to log off and go over to this. And it's just, you know, with me physically, it's becoming a problem anyway. And I've always wanted just one channel, but it didn't work out that way. So I'm going to try this again. All right. Also, I just wanted to say before I, um, you know, tick tock out of here is that not enough people, you know, are, are, are doing what they're supposed to be doing. So not enough people are speaking righteousness you understand what I'm saying? But speaking too much bad. That, that's a that big problem. Don't praise God and curse man. You understand what I mean? And I'm telling you, y'all, when I first started this with the TL, I got some videos that will blow your mind that you wouldn't even believe that I'm the same person. But I am, and I'm not ashamed of nothing I did. I came on straight up raw dog with the language that was off the chain because that was the way I was going about that because that was for, supposed to be for a business aspect of a situation that didn't turn out the way I wanted it to with somebody when they seen how, you know, how good I was doing whatever they thought was good. You know what I'm saying? And I also have been on a long travel to get myself right with God. I've also been through medical issues where I've been brought back to life. And a whole lot of stuff has happened to me. So I'm new to myself in a lot of ways, you guys, that I don't even know what I'm, you know, what, what what's next sometimes. Sometimes I don't, I'd be like, well, who am I sometimes? You know what I mean? And I'm not talking about bugging out or nothing, but because when you, when you, when you're brought back to life and you sustain the type of injuries and stuff that I have sustained and I've sustained two, two really bad things that takes your memory from you, you know, and I, you know, came back, but, and, you know, and that's a blessing. So this is not, not this is not um, me, a pity party. Or, or a story or none of that. I'm just trying to explain to you guys a little bit more about me. So I am evolving into, um, you know, a lot of new me that I'm not aware of. A whole bunch of stuff when it comes to my clothes, who I deal with, how I act at work, what, what kind of bedroom set. It's all so weird, y'all. I don't know if anybody can understand what that's like, but that's what it is for me. But like I said before, I was doing, when I first started doing it, I was doing, you know, reality TV reviews. I was speaking about the stars and I was speaking off the chain. You understand what I mean? Off the chain language, I would call it raw and I would just go in. I mean, some real choice words, some fresh, fresh stuff. And that's who I was, and, and and that's still who I am. I'm just going to start doing it in a different way because I have touched base with God in, in a, a a level that is um more than I can say. I'm telling you, even with the atrocities that I've had against me, and the thing that's so so ironic is that people got so much stuff in common. I got like probably about a good five new YouTube um people that I've met, and and I got some out of all five of the people. That said something bad happened to them. I experienced it. it it's just, it's you know, it, it's, it's this guy's work bringing people together. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to sign off. And I hope everybody had a, um, a blessed Thanksgiving. I hope I can get you guys over. It's called Rook of All. Even if you go on the Tia Long page, you're going to see that, you know, you're going to see that right there. Um, other channels. And it's going to say Rook of All. And like I said before, I hope y'all can join me. Because if not, I'm going to be, you know. Just on that one side because I can't handle it anymore. And like I said, this is the soup. We got a little bit of meat in there. Clean hands, clean gloves, y'all. I threw some tomatoes in there. This is almost like a potluck soup, y'all. 
But anyway, y'all, y'all take care. And I thank y'all so, so much for supporting me, being down with me. And this is just a big shout out to all of the YT people out here that support me and the ones that don't know me. I just wish the best for everybody. Thank you for your time and everybody have a good one. Keep it posted. Keep coming through. I got y'all. It's all good. Bye-bye.